story time about how I got kicked off the wrestling team. So it's my senior year in high school, and me and my two brothers are just killing it at this point, bro. I finished the season 47-1, and one, and then I went to a high school nationals tournament right after and won nationals. So once that happened, I started getting a bunch of offers. Now, mind you, I only wanted to go to college to wrestle, so my grades did need to go up there. Now, I'm not going to say any schools, but I signed to one school, and then I got an offer from a better school after signing to that one school and said, mm -mm, let me go to that school. And so your boy ended up signing two LOIs. So a LOI is a letter of intent, which means wherever you sign, bro, that's a school you're going to unless the coach decides to let you go. So whatever, I pull up to the school that I wanted to go to, the better one, and it was like, yo, we all good, telling the coach that, he, that was the only letter of intent that I signed, we Gucci, boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? So I move over there, which is a, which is a big move, and all is well. Whatever, I'm you know, getting accustomed to the team, I'm actually the best one on that team at my weight class. So whatever, your boys settle in, I'm in like computer class or whatever, Ring, ring, ring. Head coach. Homie's over here calling and says, get to my office ASAP. I was like, coach, can I, you know, wait till after class? He said, now. And you know what that means, Mike. If you're an athlete, you know what get in my office now means. So, you know, I'm cooling or whatever, and I pull up as such, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, what's up, coach? You know, all giggly. He's like, he's like this, Fidel. I said, yes, coach. He was like, did you sign two letter of his intent? I said, bro, come on, bro. Why are you already asked me this? I said, no. And then he was like, Fidel, did you sign two letter of his intent to so-and-so school? Boy, when I tell you, I, I, oh, I was like, you got me, mate. And I was like, coach, I want to be honest. After this entire time, right, I was like, I did sign two letters of intent. And he was super, super obviously like frustrated because you know, me and it, we already had a great relationship and it was a team that I was really, really liking and you know, it's just like, why lie? So basically he said that my name came up in the system as a red flag for the letters of intent because I had two active letters of intent, one to the first school and one to his school. So after, you know, communicating and everything, he basically said, uh, I can't be on the team for that year and I needed to either just get off of the team and just be a student at the school or I can go home and you know come back next year so I was like yo bro I ain't, I ain't staying in this town bro I'm going back to the quib you know I'm, I'm I love Dallas Texas so I get I just I pack my bags so after that uh whatever I decided to go back the next year and whenever I decided to do that even when I went I was like kind of iffy about it I'm not gonna lie because I love what I do, you know? Going back into wrestling definitely changes up the schedule. And so after going back there, I kind of came to terms with everything. And I was like, I was, I, was, I was happy with what I did in wrestling and I was ready to move on to the next thing of my life. And so yeah, that is how your boy got kicked off the wrestling team. I will still always love wrestling. If you have the opportunity to do it, bro, go do it. It's the best sport in the world, dude. I absolutely love it, but you just know when to hang some things up. And that's how I almost got kicked off the wrestling team, yo.